Hey everybody, it's Riot. This was supposed to be episode two of Riot Quiz, but didn't seem to really work out. It's supposed to actually be episodes two and three. I got four people to split them into two groups so I could quiz them with a bunch of questions. The point was they were supposed to message me their answers so that I could then tally up the points and they didn't know who was winning or who wasn't. Um, and then they could uh, say silly things because if they didn't know the answer, they could send me just a funny answer and I'd read it out later. So, that format doesn't work so well. Oh, the wonder to be a professional and be a host and have an engineer at the separate time. That'd be incredible. Or, you know, a really great computer and internet. That would be amazing too, because then I could just ask them the questions and have them shout it out first. But there's always a little bit of a delay. Of course, in these recordings, on one of them, with my friends Chris and Ryan, uh, my audio disappears, so it's a long period of time of them smiling and nodding between their comments, because you can't hear me at all, but you can hear them. Great. Awesome. <laughs> um, and then, for some people, they can't message me back or get messages, so that didn't work out so well. Poor Austin. His computer was screwing up, so he sounds completely underwater, and uh, his camera's losing him constantly and he couldn't send me direct messages <laughs> so i'm gonna have to change the format of the show a little bit but here are the guys here's some clips of what we were trying to do all right uh, do, 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 do. oh man i rewrote it here too didn't i yeah i did and the other book okay so um yeah maybe i will actually fucking reuse a, uh, a question there so um hi everybody uh we're doing i just attempted to do another episode of riot quiz and i totally screwed it up so now i'm bringing in justin de of gold ninja video and austin the co-star of assault on snake men here to help me with the second one because i wasn't going to let those other guys wait around and do it a second time in a row um, this is Riot Quiz. The point of this is for me to ask questions that I don't really assume you guys will know. And uh, hopefully I'll get some humorous answers, uh, if not real answers. Who knows? You get a point by getting a right answer. What you also, problem is, you lose a point if you do not answer anything. Okay. So you have to, so if you don't know the answer, you got to write something so I can What's read What's the it time out. limit on giving an answer? I, I'll, no numbers. I'll just make noises and tell you your time's up. Oh, no. Like farts and burps and stuff like that? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, like you, you should neigh like a donkey. <laughs> <laughs> neigh like a donkey? Yeah, the yeah. Christmas donkey. Yeah. 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 Right, yeah, really. Do you think a donkey goes like, eh, eh. Why yeah, the, they do. Why does a horse neigh, but a donkey bray? Oh, I don't like, know. Yeah. Oh man, that's like that's the, the sound of one hand clapping. <laughs> oh my god! Yeah. So since I, I have control. I don't know. I killed Austin. <laughs> Especially because he's more mumble. His, his mic's worse than mine. Um, playing yeah. on my crappy mic still. So uh, we'll see. At least I don't feel so bad because uh, even more underwater sounds Austin. But that's okay. <laughs> What? What are you saying over there? Huh? What is it? I have important people that I need to answer to. Okay. Um. So uh, they're gonna write me the answers. Every three questions, I will tally the scores and tell you the answers. Um. And there are seven questions in total. So the last one, you don't get to choose. I have now made the last question is called characters from the '80s and '90s. That's what the last question is. Okay. Okay. So um, I have a note. I'm hypnotized by Austin's like pogo stick camera. <laughs> like, it's gonna tumble at any moment. It Let's just we'll do this and the whole thing, and it'll be normal. It's really, it's really precarious, still though. We are the North, man. <laughs> Your other topics are though. Um, I'm gonna scrap '90s cartoons, which I gave you on the list. So the first one's just gonna be called old TV. Then the second question is going to be um who's this and hopefully uh austin will be able to accept a message from me when i post send you guys a photo of somebody and you guys have to tell me who it is i will again edit it on so it'll flash on the screen so everyone else can see it then too um there is a pick a card and there are two questions of christmas horror because tis the season uh what else do i got here uh no, no, no. pick a card who's that old tv 
Uh, two questions of, of horror. And then there should be a six one. What's the six question I sent you guys? I don't fucking know anymore. Nice. Quiz. <laughs> I don't know, two, three. I don't know what episode it is. It depends what episode I decide to show this as. Uh, hopefully, this is sounding okay and we're getting everything to make sense. I originally wasn't going to do this till I got a better mic, but I just got this bullshit mic that's made out of plastic, so it's 2020. What do you expect? My guests today are below me. Yes, I said below me is Chris Mojo Morris, proud husband, father, folk singer. I had a guy working for his community using uh, his digital skills to help independent businesses during this pandemic work through it into the digital age, as well as making music and doing all the things he does. You may remember him if you are from Kingston, Ontario, as the guy who ran for town council and was just always playing guitar. guitar. Being weird. I, just... oh. <laughs> I didn't fail. I voted for him, but he wasn't <laughs> in my district. <laughs> Stuffing the ballots. Um, to my left, to mom. my left right here is Ryan, loving an elevator, Ewing, also a very proud father and a wild artist and writer, pushing for people to remember and love and appreciate the written printed world for independent press with his web shows, as well as his zine, as well as his zine, Pocket Thoughts. There you go. You get to see that. I'm really excited to be a part of this after you were telling me about your like your personal journey and I'm always happy to help with charity and, and whatnot and the work that you've done for erectile dysfunction in the past and the fact that you said you were ponying up 500 American of your own dollars to donate to the charity. I think that's just a wonderful thing that I, I had to join. Actually, is it, I don't mean to cut you off, but I'm, I'm just bringing in um, 500 American <laughs> ponies. They're just American ponies. Um, people do often call them bronies. You can't, you, can't, you can't import American ponies right now. Well, we're sneaking them underground. It's okay. We found our own way. It's for charity. It's, we got to break the rules sometimes to do things for charity. It's like, I ain't talking to the RCMP after this. Fuck that. No better than curbside service. I don't know. Anyway, are you guys ready to that quiz? terrible. <laughs> Let's move on quickly. Right. Okay. So the quiz. So you guys know the questions they have available to you. They... <laughs> Where am I? <laughs> then the other question is called Squiggy. Then there's question six. It's called Squiggy. So um, so I'll give uh, Justin, since you got logged in here first, I'll give you first shot. You have the options of, again, Christmas Horror, one or two. I'll take Christmas Horror 1, please. Oh, well, I can get you, you're remind you of the other options, too. You have Old TV, you have Squiggy, you have Pick a Card, and Who's That? Oh, Christmas please. Horror, please. Okay, so Christmas Horror number one. Um, all right, I think I have the Christmas, Christmas Horror? Yeah, the Christmas Horrors. Yeah. It's prostitutes in the winter. <laughs> That's right. Win winter tots. <laughs> all right. I'll take S words for 100, please. One. Oh god, um, anal bum cover. Anal, <laughs> yes, that's, -like. that's basically all this is. Um this is Geo Party. So oh, um, man, wish I had a big Justin, hat. you should get this. <laughs> okay. I'm ready. I'm gonna type. Okay. So uh, Justin, I'm looking for the actor's name. He's Canadian Ugh. and he appears in both uh maybe you won't get this, it'll be funny, but you'll know who I'm talking about. Um he appears in the uh Christmas Horror Story Anthology Series as Santa. That one, not series, that movie that came out a couple of years ago, Christmas Horror Story. Yeah. Um, and he also plays an orderly in the Canadian movie, The Brain. An orderly? Well, he's like an Igor, kind of, to Igor. the... Yeah, he's a, he works at a, a mental home and he's sort of a lackey <laughs> for the bad guy. Here's the only actors that I know in <laughs> Canadian so, Christmas horror who, movies. Who is the dude in uh, uh, Hilarious House of Frightenstein? <laughs> yeah, the guy who plays Igor? I don't even know who that guy's yeah. name. His real name was, he really was Igor. He doesn't have a name. No way, you're lying. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, how many guesses do I get? You can guess as many times as it takes for Austin <laughs> to write his guess in. Romanian dissident. He had to hide in Canada. <laughs> So guess who that uh, who plays Santa in Christmas Horror Story and is also in the movie The Brain. I believe he's also in the TV series of Honey, I Shrunk the Kids. 
Rick Moranis. Yeah. Oh no, <laughs> no you no. stole my answer. Rick Moranis is not. And you went. Your camera went off. Line there, Austin. I'm, just, I'm trying to find a solution to this difficulty. Man. It was, it was fine. Were, it was working fine. You had to touch it. You stupid idiot! He's trying to tell me my. This is the comedy so right here. Just you know. <laughs> Ah, uh, the classic Christmas donkey. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to Grandpa's You Zoom quiz show. <laughs> oh my and, God. and Austin's the youngest one of us. He's way younger I than am. all of us. <laughs> I'm just that technologically challenged. The bunker that Austin is in doesn't get a good signal. <laughs> <laughs> we are the north. <laughs> you know, Canada. We have the worst uh, internet infrastructure in the entire world. What, 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 what are you doing, Austin? Are you doing anything right now? We can't see you, so I'm advocating for the betterment you're, of the internet in Canada. <laughs> you're you're masticating. You're chewing on something. No, he's master. You know, <laughs> that's why I turned his camera off. I didn't know the show was so hot. <laughs> yeah. Uh, this is Blue Nights <laughs> quiz show. I'm, I'm Blue Nights. Very... He's back. He's back. Now write an answer. Type an answer and just make up a name if you can't think of one. Listen, it's too late. He lost his point. Yeah, you lost your point. You lost your point, Austin. I lost too much. I lost too much too much. Okay, <laughs> so, I can see all of you now. And then I'm just going to choose for you. Um... <laughs> I can see all of you and he disappears. Uh, um, I'm going to choose the question for you because uh, <laughs> no, you don't Mike just... went out. Options are uh, Squiggy is one of them. Sean Connery is the other option. Uh, I call my penis. What, Squiggy or Sean Connery? Squiggy. Oh, okay. Well, that makes sense then. No, sorry. I call it Squiggly. Right. That, exactly. That's why I figured we'd go with it. Anyway, um... <laughs> I look like Randy Quaid. <laughs> look like Randy Quaid. Classic Christmas vacation. It's Uncle Whatever. <laughs> also, he loves Donald Trump. <laughs> just, just emptying out the septic tank. Yeah, yeah. While well, Randy Quaid's like out of his yeah, he's like years. having sex with his wife, and they're wearing like George Bush masks. <laughs> They're you haven't seen that video? Oh, God. Ooh, don't search that. No, no. I mean, but even years ago, he was like already losing his mind. Mm. He thought like that the lizard people were coming to get him specifically. Like he. Oh yeah, definitely yeah. the Hollywood uh, hit mob or something like that. Yeah. So Austin, if you're talking, you realize your mic is now off. You you were fine yeah, a second it, ago. No, yeah. It's, for some reason, it is giving me the option to stop and start when I want to speak, and I hate that. So I don't know. <laughs> Can you see me now? No, 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 no now we now, can. Now you're back. Now you're back. So don't My touch it. Lord. Leave it be. Let it wobble. It's fine if it wobbles. <laughs> it makes it as... more exciting. It's yeah. like a born born supremacy. Yeah. yeah, it's like Kurosawa. You know, you have to add motion for the drop. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> right. So your okay. your second is question is um, Silent Night, Deadly Night. <laughs> they have Wait, brothers. What? In, in Silent Night, Deadly Night, the series yeah. of movies, four and five are not connected at all. Yes. What are the names of the two brothers that appear in parts one, two, and three? Is that, is that a garbage day? That's yeah, that's part two. One. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, just think of generic white guy names and maybe you might get the points. Who knows? <laughs> Brad. Brad. Brad Miller. <laughs> Brad, Brad Miller. Brad Brown. <laughs> what are white last names? <laughs> no, not last names. I don't need to know their last names. I just need to know their first names. Okay. And I can't just look it up on my computer. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, that is between you and your faith uh, there, Justin. Yeah, you and your God. Yeah. Your moral God. Okay. <laughs> okay. Between every... So I'm guessing Austin has not written anything yet. <laughs> No, <laughs> I, I'm guessing vocally. These are no. Oh, you, have to type it. you can just steal my answer. <laughs> Vanessa, yeah, that sounds like one. 
His name is Vanessa, did you say? No, I was trying to do a different example, but yes, that's his name, Vanessa. Vanessa Carlton. Carlton. His name is is Carlton. Carlton. (laughs) His name is Carlton. Yeah, Carlton and Will, the brothers from Silent Night, Deadly Night. The Fresh Prince reunion was Silent Night, Deadly Night. (laughs) <laughs> Wait, what page is Austin on on his laptop? Like, it's not I Facebook. Know, I went to Facebook to get the link because I don't know what, where to how to put the code in. What, well, you already have the link. Just type it. Type in Messenger to me. Type your answer in Messenger. But I can't. I can't even log on. To to Messenger? Yeah, it won't let me. What? Uh, oh, right. I forgot I what his me. password is on Facebook. I guess I forgot all my. <laughs> <laughs> then, then okay. Then message me on. Oh no! Then you, then you're gonna touch the the, the camera and you're gonna fuck okay, it okay, up. Okay, between each answer, I'll you'll just hear me say some words like "Hey Google" and I'll start, or no, I'll say <laughs> "Hey Siri." <laughs> okay, <laughs> then, then 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 fuck the fuck the talking. You can just tell me <laughs> the fucking answers. That? So yeah, in, how about yeah? We'll we'll each Google, say an answer because Austin uh, has lost like, the ability. Edward Penis Hands. <laughs> <laughs> you thought they'd be floppy dicks. They're not. They're big hard ones. Oh god. Is that where Johnny Depp got No, Johnny Depp does not play Edward Penis hands. He has he, It was he, Raw Julia. <laughs> He, I could tell he has speak Google's talk on because it's answering back. It just said Johnny Depp is an American. <laughs> What the I'll fuck? This- the Mandalorian. Who? The Mandalorian. Yeah. He's from Mandaloria. Uh, pick a card. Who's that? North or South Mandaloria? Uh, I believe East Coast. East Coast Mandalorian. Right, because, you know, Mandalorian party don't stop. Mandalorian for the children. <laughs> <laughs> Just a complete breakdown of everything. So, anyway, yes, we'll move yes. on from my question. <laughs> My darling, the day your village was burned and all your people were killed, that was the most important day of your life. But to me, that was just Tuesday. <laughs> yes, that is a quote from Street Fighter. <laughs> yeah, but the penis hands guy, that's the one who said it. <laughs> <laughs> I have no idea what's going on. I've lost me the either. Control. Does the winner Thanks. get to read the credits in the style of your choosing? Chris, since you're older, you get to choose first. <laughs> yeah, okay. Whose line is it anyway? Uh, I would like to... Uh, Do I look select... like Drew Carey? <laughs> yeah, seriously. Chris, you can Clive choose. Anderson. And... No, I'm not Drew way. Carey. <laughs> yeah, all the way. Uh, right. I would like to select uh, a category that I know nothing about, so I will pick horror movies. Fuck you, I was going to pick horror movies. Uh, I would like to pick what Ryan was going to pick, because I... Appreciate Ryan's up. Uh, well, not opinion. bias. Can't be biased here. Right up in the face. Well, this one might be in Ryan's favor because the first question is about two horror movies, and one of them I saw with him the first time I ever saw it. I always shoot away from so, my favor. The, well, we'll see what happens. You at least get half of it. The movies are Sleepaway Camp and Night of the Demons. What are the main killers' names in those movies? What are those women called? Female killers at that time. So the, the characters are not the actresses? Yeah, just the characters. You don't need to know who the actresses are. Cause what was the name of the movie? Sleepaway Camp and? Night of the Demons. Night of the Demon. Uh... And no, no, no Googling it. Just, just type it to me and I'll read your messages. And uh, we'll see what answers you give. Question. <laughs> uh, I guess okay. Greg is it Greg is his name Greg <laughs> no um, the only point oh, so far today has been given by um, by Justin because he gets one point for saying the name Billy that's the main one Ricky is the second oh, one. Oh, Ricky oh. the Canadian actor from the brain and from Chris's horror story is uh, his name is Greg Booza hmm? don't know that a, actor a, a big guy gray beard you'd totally recognize him in a million canadian things but you know the movie the brain you of know course, the, yeah yeah you know the the guy who chops people's heads off for him who's the lug for mm-hmm. 
He's just yeah, a big, huge vaguely. square guy. Yeah, well, you, if you saw his face. And he looks like Santa. No, no, he didn't. This is like the like the newlywed game. Like We have to compare our answers at the end and, and see how right. much. We, we... <laughs> no matter what, we win each other, Chris. So we're going on a big old date. A big old date. You're paying. Big old date. <laughs> big old date. Well, I, I will select um, pick a card. Oh, good. Now you know that it's your turn. Okay, great. Let's pick a card. I've got uh, four cards here from this crappy game I found. That's a trivial pursuit of like sci-fi and fantasy. So Ryan, pick one of the cards. You got four cards to choose from. Which one do you want to choose? One, two and a half. Two and a half. Great. So I'm gonna do two, and then I'll ask the question in the middle. Won't you see it? Won't you see the back of it? Um. Oh, this is lame. This is. (laughs) <laughs> this is awful why this happens this way. Yeah, here, let me see the answer. Um, in a galaxy far, far away, a long time ago in a galaxy far, far away, what series of science fiction is that? Star Wars, Star Trek, or Galaxy Quest? <laughs> Ooh, I just saw Galaxy uh, Quest for the first time the other night. Yeah. Yeah, I actually was rewatching it not too long ago either. I'm surprised it's a movie where I, I feel like I want to see the cleavage of Sigourney Weaver. I thought that was the prize. <laughs> That's why I'm playing. <laughs> no, the prize is actually this plunger. This is uh, something I got from the dollar store. The winner gets this. It says, splat and throw me on it. One of you gets to have that. Who will fight? A quarter of his age. Yes. Reggie's like <laughs> making the various monologue to the camera. He's like, Fox News, <laughs> you're done. <laughs> you guys gotta watch that video. It's the scariest. Why do I need to watch it? I'm just looking at it right now. <laughs> just living it. So another I'm question. In I'm in a bunker hiding. <clears throat> We're not paying my taxes. I'm Randy <laughs> We're gonna do pick a card. We're gonna do pick a card. So uh, Austin. Yeah. You get to pick one of the cards. I have three cards here from a shitty box it's of sweet. sci-fi fantasy questions. <laughs> one, one, yeah, two, or three. <laughs> Okay. Do I choose a question a, B, a, card B, B, one, two, or three? <laughs> I'll take three. Three. Oh. All right. And Justin, there is letters A, B, C, and D. Choose a letter. D. All right. I bet this is a fucking awful question. These are this is a shitty, shitty game. Um, oh, is this the game you found in the basement of Isor? Yeah. That's like yeah. garbage sci-fi question. Yeah. Um, okay. so, uh, what comic strip movie won a best original song Oscar for sooner or later? I always get my man. What movie was that song <laughs> oh, okay. in based off an old comic strip? Dick what, Tracy. So... <laughs> Did you hear that? What do you think it is? But whose question was it? You didn't tell me. It's it's for both of you. You both had to, because since you're not going to type it, you have to both shout it out. Oh, my God. I Okay, you're right. I think it is also Dick Tracy. <laughs> no, it's Punisher you're... War Zone. <laughs> <laughs> the Oscar-nominated with... film Punisher War Zone. <laughs> which is the one with John Travolta. It's... That's the Punisher. It's that... just the normal Punisher. Yeah. Have you seen that meme that's like, do I have to watch Spider-Man 1, 2, 3, Spider-Man 1, 2, and Spider-Man 1 and 2 to understand Spider-Man 3? <laughs> yes. Yes, you do like... this time. Um, <laughs> you go, the Oscar-winning movie Punisher Warzone, like the concept that Dick Tracy won an Oscar for anything makes any sense either. Yeah, Madonna sang the song, didn't she? Uh, yeah, well, but the still, does that the, the movie's still shite. Oh, yeah, definitely. Is an Al Pacino in it, and he's got like a rubber face. Yeah, they all have rubber. Everybody faces. has rubber faces, rubber faces. Yeah. except for yeah, maybe Dick Tracy. John Wayne Gacy. I mean, have you seen Warren Beatty? That's rubber face right well, there. Is now. I mean, he's not like the ultimate rubber face, Jim Carrey. <laughs> <laughs> Let me tell you something. Oh, no. tell you something. <laughs> oh my god, the <laughs> mountain. <laughs> Just the idea of Jim Carrey's killing Austin. He's like Jim Carrey. What a funny guy. <laughs> He's the mask. <laughs> we have a star on Canada's Walk of Fame right now because I hope he does. <laughs> so, 
I need you both to choose an answer for this question. This question is for old TV. Oh, Dick Tracy. It was Dick Tracy. Yeah, you already did. We're past that. I'm giving you another question. Crazy? Did you just say Dick Crazy? Yeah. Oh, God. So the Whoa. Dick Crazy. Oh, do you think there's an Edward Penis hands of Dick Tracy that's called <laughs> Dick Crazy? Crossover. crossover. Wait, so is this like an Edward, like Edward Crazy Penis Hands is Dick. in the world of Dick Tracy, or is it just like a porn parody? It's a porn parody Dick with Crazy. Edward Penis Hands. Yeah, and he's the one that's Dick Crazy. I do have a copy of the porn parody <laughs> called The Cocketeer. Oh, really? Wow. Yeah. The Joker's in it for some reason as a villain. <laughs> yeah, and like Predator and the Alien show up. Oh, Rocketeer. I thought it was like Musketeer, but. Oh, the classic the Musketeer, the Peter Himes film. <laughs> the porn sequel is known as the, the Three Cocketeers. The Three Cocketeers. Yeah. Yes. Chris, now it's your turn. So you choose whatever the fuck you want to choose. Let's do The Mandalorian. Okay. Fine. Do you guys agree? Do you guys been watching yeah. the show? Yeah. Do you agree that it's better than the last three movies? No. I enjoyed the Star Wars movies, but I like this for itself and I like those for what they are. Normally out of my friends, Chris is not the biggest nerd out of all of us, except when it comes to Star Wars. Then, yes, yes, then he is the biggest nerd out of all of us. And he's proud of it, you can tell. <laughs> I'm a Last Jedi supporter. Hey, I mean, yeah, you know, I'm I, yeah I really liked it. I thought it was a good movie. Yeah. I like when they have the horses on the spaceship in space and they ride horses in space. Who does that? Why not? I mean, those guys do. Finn and those sure other, other people have, troopers. I just want a list of who does that. But in general, I enjoyed the last one. As, as so just you can like find them and meet them. Movie. Uh, all I need in a Star Wars movie yeah, is take some it that spaceships seriously. and some lightsabers, a couple explosions, maybe a little incest kiss here or there. I'm happy. I don't need I don't, I don't need all the bullshit that goes with it. So the questions are, who are the two female actresses who play the other Mandalorians that come in later on? One is Bo-Katan Kreese. Yeah, it sounds like an innuendo for a body part. Actually, uh, a hockey formation. It's the, it's the name of a, a defense formation in hockey, Bo-Katan Crease. Ryan, that was funny. Laugh at it. I'm a, I'm a ball hockey player, not an ice hockey player, so I don't get the reference. And that's when my mic went out. We can no longer hear me make comments <laughs> on Ryan's icy balls. The rest of the episode was ruined because you couldn't hear me. They could, but on the recording, it just sounds like I'm silent. And it was lost. <sighs> so, you got to learn the uh, answers to the first couple of questions for uh, Justin and Austin. The other questions, I was going to reuse some of them for them after I realized that the Chris and Ryan episode uh, was flubbed. But uh, again, I'll save those questions maybe for the future. And one day I'll figure out what Squiggy is. Actually, probably not because I've written on all my message boards already. So uh, go look for that. Um, but the questions for uh, Ryan and Chris, maybe you care to know. Maybe you don't. First one was horror. What are the female killer's names from Night of the Demons and from Sleepaway Camp? They're both called Angela. Ryan got that right. Chris wrote Amelia Earhart. So no points for him. The second one was off those cards. I'll be giving away some of those cards in the Ride at the Movie swag bags and that. So if anyone who buys anything, they're going to get a couple of those. So be prepared. Um, theirs was, um, been a long time ago in a galaxy far, far away. What sci-fi series is that from? Obviously, it's Star Wars. Uh, Ryan wrote Star Wars the Triple X parody. I gave it the point. <laughs> um, to be a dick, the bigger fan, Chris writes Back to the Future. Asshole. <laughs> Uh, then the other question was um, Bo-Katan Kreese and uh, I believe it's Casey's Reeves, uh, the two female uh, characters that are recently appeared on Man Mandalorian, who are they played by? Bo-Katan is Katie Stockoff from Battlestar Galactica, recently The Flash, and WWE superstar Sasha Banks, the boss, is the other one, is Reeves. So... There's those answers. Again, uh, they didn't get the answers to that. Uh, Ryan's like, oh, damn, I knew those names too. But he was being funny, and he wrote the twins from Sister Sister. And uh, Chris probably wrote your mom or something. That's actually the medical term for the taint. I thought Bo-Katan was the, uh, the color of khakis you used to get at the, at the Gap. <laughs> 
Played by Jim Carrey. <laughs> what uh, what famous uh, director appeared as Elvis in an episode of Golden Girls? I know that answer. Quentin Tarantino. There you go. So someone gets oh, a point of that. So gross. <laughs> Adam, at this so point, rude. I don't think points need to be counted. We're just doing for the fun of it. <laughs> <laughs> but, but someone has to win this prize. I got someone a plunger from the dollar store. I want it. It says splat, splat. and throw me. Do you think it actually works if I use it? <laughs> like on your toilet? No, don't don't yeah, use it on I, your toilet. You recently uh, shaved head. Stick it to your head. <laughs> yeah, like okay. Why'd you shave your head, Austin? Are you like Samson? Have you lost your strength? No, I lost my mind like Randy Quaid, man. <laughs> just one day you just went at it to yourself. <laughs> Actually, I was, I was doing that the other day and almost did that. I started putting a buzzer to my own hair because I'm like, I don't, still don't want to go to a, a barber shop. And I accidentally like turned my head and got like a whole chunk out of my head. I did it, I did it yesterday. Uh, Emily did my hair. So, yeah. Bedlam came in there. There's a bit I'm going to do in every episode where I send them a photo of an obscure photo of some sort of weird celebrity and they have to guess who it is um, or what it is because maybe it won't be a celebrity. Who knows? But Austin couldn't see the photo. So that went insane. Worked well for Ryan and Chris, but um, the conversation makes no sense since you can't hear me in it and I'm probably talking the most because I never shut the fuck up. Is there's Is there a way I can send it to you in this chat? I don't think you can. Oh, you can. I can send you a file. Watch this. This just screws up everything. That'd be me. Yeah. Austin just catches fire. <laughs> <laughs> Why? Why? Adam? Actual fire comes out of the zoom. This would be weird because this is going to show up on the screen when it edits. It just melt like the guy in, in Indiana Jones when he's just like, he chose poorly. And he goes, <laughs> like melts away in front of that. German lady, and she's like, <laughs> You got to choose the chalice, it's not important. The funny thing is, though, goblet back in those days didn't mean cup, so the whole fucking question in Last Crusade is wrong. What did it mean? Goblet was a tray, you put <gasps> you put cups on. Wow, is this direct from the UK knowledge? Is that how you know this? Yes. It was a, I read that in another quiz book, so. Oh. <laughs> that's, yeah, the Last Crusade bit is a, is a bullshit. Can you see in, in the picture yet, though, Justin? Uh, no, Justin, you've seen it. Can you see the picture, though, of uh, Austin? Austin? Uh... Look, I got away. Austin. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, God. <laughs> Who is that, Austin? <laughs> Is he wearing assless chaps? What's happening there? I don't get it. <laughs> so, yeah, any guess by either of you who he is or who his brother is? I think he is Owen Hart and his brother is Bret Hart. <laughs> You're on the right track. I mean, it's definitely a wrestler. Is it Steve Austin? Did Steve Austin have a brother? I'm leaving as many hints as I can, but there you get it. His uh Oh his... wait, is it Macho Man Randy Savage's brother? Yes. Is it Lenny Popo? Yes, it is. You get the point. You actually got Austin got a point! Austin got a point! Oh! <laughs> I wanna fucking be like the new my new guy right now. <laughs> Crazy frog. Go suck a dick, Chris. The shirt says He-Man on it. <laughs> I just... I would like to say that I read Dustin Diamond's autobiography uh, a couple years ago because I found it at the Dollar Tree and it was one of the greatest books I ever read in an afternoon while I was uh, hopped up on that book. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Actually, we're going to do this again. Justin, you're going to do it the same way. I'm going to send you a photo. Jeremy Lanny Poffo, everything I've heard about him is that he's very odd and meticulous and that he also has a huge dick. <laughs> he's got like a fucking baby. <laughs> so, Justin, I sent Guys, you another photo. Do the I same thing. Macy Gray. Okay, 
Okay, I don't give a shit about Toby Maguire and Kirsten Dunst and Andrew Garfield. <laughs> what is going on? Is in the new Spider Man? <laughs> she was she in the does. first Spider Man, so she's got to be. In I know. The new one. She's, so if she's not, it's a crime. It's a crime. <laughs> Okay. So, so who is this celebrity who was not invited back to the reunion of his own show? Oh, oh that's okay. Shriek. Yeah, that's Dustin Diamonds. Yeah, at least you got the real Diamond. name right. But, but uh, Justin said his name wrong. Austin, can you think of the character's real name? It's not Shriek. Shriek. <laughs> Screech. Yeah, there we go. Shriek. He's in jail. Like, like a man. transformer of some kind. <laughs> a bat transformer. His name. His name. Starscream. <laughs> Star Scream, yes. Oh man, I've just thrown these fucking questions out the fucking window. <laughs> anyway, we'll have those guys back. They deserve better. Uh, all of them. Justin with Golden Ninja Video. Check out uh, goldninjavideo.com for this year's um, releases, the limited ones happening before the end of the year and the ones happening in 2021, which we'll, we'll promise to the world we're going to have a wild 2021. Austin is also, as I said, in Assault on Snake Men. Uh, check out his comedy in there. Um, Chris doing music around. He's got music online. He's doing a bunch of stuff in his hometown. Uh, also, uh, Ryan from the same hometown as, as uh, Chris, but uh, you can check out his uh, Pocket Thoughts zine, which also links to his web shows where he interviews people who make zines across the world. Uh, yeah, great creative guys, all of them. Thanks so much. We'll see you again. We'll see new people in the future. We know people who want to be on board. It's going to be a wild new year. Uh, maybe we'll do some real live ones in person when the world allows that. Until then, I'm going to keep connecting you guys, keep connecting you to new faces to funny people and uh i hope i figure my shit out so i make it worth all your guys time thanks so much stay awesome happy new year peace out uh gomer pile from full metal jacket <laughs> like if i just Vincent D'Onofrio? Off and i was like this lot <laughs> that france goodbye subjects Oh, uh, this show was produced by a fucking idiot.